Hi, my name is Ben and I'm a previous CEO of a debt settlement company. Today we're going to look at how debt settlement impacts your credit score. It definitely has a lot of impact on your credit score. So let's see and, and stay tuned to learn more. Welcome to Ascend Finance's YouTube channel where we take complex issues such as debt settlement, credit score impact and break them down into easy, understandable human language. I'm Ben and I've been the co-founder uh, and CEO of Ascend for three years now. If you're in over your head in a debt and looking for a way out, you may have stumbled on the option of debt settlement company. While the thought of paying off your debt for much lower than what it's currently the balance is may sound amazing, it's important to realize that there are some major drawbacks to debt settlement. And one of those is both credit score and credit report impact. Today, we're going to look at how debt settlement specifically impacts your credit score. First, what is debt settlement? Second, how your credit score impact works. Third, how much your credit score will go down if you do debt settlement. Fourth, how do you rebuild your credit score after debt settlement? And the last thing, we'll just wrap it all up in a nice little bow. <laughs> Let's get started. What is debt settlement? You've heard all the stories, you've heard all the ads, you've seen all the videos. Before we jump into the credit score, let's define exactly what debt settlement is. Debt settlement is when you try to negotiate your debt down for a lower amount and settle that debt. It could be on a small scale, like with a friend, you could you could essentially try to negotiate $1,000 uh, for $500 if you can't owe it. But in reality, it most often happens when you're working with your credit cards or credit agencies um, and they uh, they are the ones, uh, and for some reason, you're not able to afford that debt. And in debt settlement, you would communicate with your creditors, negotiate with them. And once there's agreed upon price, you'd pay the creditors one by one. And the awesome part about debt settlement is that you could potentially pay less and save money and your debt may be forgiven. Now, some people use debt settlement companies and some people do uh, do it on your, your own. And there's pros and cons to each. Well, this is awesome that there is something that can help. The process of can negatively impact your credit score. So let's take a look how your credit score is impacted in debt settlement. You may be wondering why your credit score would be affected just because you work with a debt settlement company. The answer partially lies in the process. When you begin working with a debt settlement company, one of the first things that you do is stop paying your creditors and start putting money into an escrow account to negotiate with your creditors. They do this so that your account essentially is in a position where the creditors are willing to accept a, a negotiation and you are able to pay on that negotiation because you couldn't afford your debt before that. Unfortunately, this in of itself will potentially lower your credit score because the delinquent payments will be listed on your credit report and that in turn will lower your credit score and make lenders less wary to extend your credit. The other way debt settlement can affect your credit score is once the account is settled. Once your debt is settled and you pay the negotiated amount, your account will be closed and paid, settled, and less. It's not going to be paid, settled for, for uh, paid in full, but it will be paid, settled, and less. Once your report has the settled debt, your credit score may go up. Uh, the downside after your credit report drops is it may be hard to get a significant line of credit. Fortunately, the credit report won't keep your debt settlement forever and and after a period of time, the missed payments and debt uh, settled on your account will be taken off and your credit will score can recover pretty quickly. So let's talk about the impact. So how long exactly will the dings on your credit be there? Credit score be there? In most cases, it will be off your report in a certain number of years. Your payment uh, history does account for about 35% of your credit score. Um, but the the and, and the debt settlement may last for seven years, but um, the, the amount of that credit affecting may take less time after some time. So how many points were your credit score drop? And, it, and the answer to that question is probably the most common question. And it really depends on what your credit score starting point was. And at Ascend, we can help you run a simulation to kind of help you understand what your credit score would drop. But let's just kind of com compare a couple of factors. First, what is the starting point of your credit score? If your credit score is 400 or 450, your credit score may not drop very much. But if your credit score is 700 or 750, it may drop quite a bit more than if it was you know, 400. The other thing that is impacted is how many accounts and how much you're settling the accounts for potentially. You know, if you have a lot of accounts and you're settling high amounts, then it may be impacted more than just one or two accounts and low dollar amounts. But the amount of your score does really depend. So let's talk about rebuilding your credit score after debt settlement. Luckily, you aren't left helpless after debt settlement. Though your credit score may have fallen drastically, there are some things that you can do to help rebuild it while waiting for your debt settlement to be taken off your report. First, 
Make sure that you review your credit report uh, regularly. There could be a record of debt settlement on your credit report, but make sure that they aren't excessive reports that could be further damaging your report. If you realize that there is an incorrect record of your delinquencies, then you, you can dispute that with the credit bureaus and have them taken off. Second, you want to make sure that you catch up and stay current on your payments um, for new debt. Doing this while you're trying to rebuild your credit will make sure that you don't add more delinquent counts on your credit report. It also builds your credit good re reputation of repayment, which it can raise your credit score. Next, after you're confident that you are going to be able to keep up on your payments, consider, get, consider getting a secured credit card. A secured credit card is similar to a normal credit card, but that you put money up front as a security deposit that the company will keep and you'll be making payments against those security deposit amounts. Make sure that you honestly evaluate whether you're ready for taking on credit again after you do debt settlement. If you default on a secured credit card, you could be further damaging your credit score, making it even harder to get future lines of credit. Also, secured credit cards do have costs and fees, so understand those costs and fees before signing up for a secure credit card. Finally, if you're not ready to have an, uh, your own line of credit, you could consider becoming an authorized user for someone else's account. Being an authorized user means that you are authorized to use your line of credit, credit that you don't, though you don't need, necessarily have to. Doing this could help you ride the coattails of someone who already has an established line of credit. To wrap this all up, yes, debt settlement most negative de definitely can affect your credit score, but if you're diligent and patient, you can be able to raise your credit score. Make sure you're frequently reviewing your credit report, uh, staying on top of of your current payments on your current lines and looking at ways to rebuild your credit while you're in the debt settlement program. I hope this overview of how debt settlement impacts your credit score is helpful. If you still have questions, I'd love to answer them in the comments below. And if you like this video, I definitely appreciate it. Like, and finally, if you want to understand other attributes of debt settlement that could be helpful, please feel free to su subscribe because we, we do videos almost re very regularly in terms of helping people get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. Thanks. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.